As Texans go to the polls this week, a battle over election maps will soon go before the Supreme Court. Now eight justices will decide whether a lawsuit against Texas will force the whole country to change how voting districts are counted. It wouldn't surprise me if Texas actually wins five to three or six to two. Constitutional scholar Sanford Levinson at the UT Law School suggests a lawsuit over Texas sweeping abortion restrictions could come down to occasional swing vote Anthony Kennedy. There is no way Texas will win the case in a majority decision of five to three, but Texas can win the case if it's a tie vote because the decision in the Fifth Circuit had upheld the Texas law. It's a similar situation in the case of race conscious admissions at UT Austin, in which Elena Kagan's recusal leaves seven justices to decide. And you can predict six of the seven votes with absolute certainty. So it's all going to turn down to which majority Kennedy wants to make, you know, I think you could flip a coin. Finally, Levinson predicts the court can't explicitly overturn the president's immigration action, but a tie again would have a similar effect. The lower court decision that he had exceeded his authority would still operate. Meanwhile, Senate Republicans have vowed Antonin Scalia's replacement will not be chosen by President Obama. Majority Whip John Cornyn stood firm today that the November election should serve as a referendum. Is any Obama nominee dead on arrival in the Senate as Leader McConnell as he, he said, I agree with that this ought to be a choice made by someone else. Will it come to a vote? Uh, I don't believe it will. It's a gamble. The idea of a liberal Clinton appointee could cause some Republicans to consider a moderate offered by Obama. Yet Levinson suggests an altogether more shrewd alternative. Somebody whose rejection will make further trouble for the Republican Party in the upcoming elections. Elections that now have even higher stakes.